Now I start the project with four story building. I will have columns for each floor different than others. Well, the suggested size of columns is for the first column we we'll have 360 by 196 and the second floor smaller and the third floor smaller and for main beams will be for 60 by 158 and the secondary beams 200 by 100 we'll have an elevator shaft also 200 millimeters thick concrete and we'll add the exterior wall load on beams which is 8 kilonewton per meter so let's add this project uh, structures and then we start with the elevation uh, let's say the first level is 4500 and then we start we add the other levels so we have level I'll pick and I'll make this 3000 offset this is one and this is the second Skip, skip. So we'll have these four levels. We'll just adjust the, uh, and we go to level two to do the grids. I'll uh, do a simple grid. We'll have uh, uh, one first, and then we'll go and make offset of five thousand. one two so four of them and then we go in the other direction again we will have this one I just change the this to an alphabetic and then back again we to the grid well, um, again we do pick and we do offset. Let's make it 9000. So we'll have um, one, two, three. So I'll keep it simple. So this is our grid. Now, we'll first of all, let's start with the columns. We said the first level columns will be 360 by 196. So if you go to, now we are at level 2, so we go down to, let's see if we have 360, so we have 360 by 196, and uh, we do a grid, and then for the entire thing, and OK, so looks good, so back to level 2. We'll do the long the main beams. So I'll go to beams and then we said the main beam will be four sixty one fifty eight. So let's see if we have them. Four sixty we don't have we don't have so we go to Lord Family and we go to structural framing steel and metric wide flange this one so look for 60 460 by 196 460 196 there there is no 460 so I'll choose 460 by 193 And we take your time to connect them one by one at a time. Escape and continue here. Don't just stretch them one more line, that one will be good structurally because it will be different. It will be a continuous beam, which we don't intend to have any continuous beam. These are one beam at a time on two columns that's for the longitude in the short direction we said we'll do 200 by 100 
which I don't think we have here. So we go to look 200 by 100. We have this one now. So we go to look for again. Structural framing. Seal. And this metric wide flange. Look for 200 by 100. 200 by 100. This one. Okay. And again, this will be in the short direction. Escape. Same goes here. Of course, this is typical building. If your building is have different measurement, then you should choose different sizes based on the um, estimate thing tables that you have architecturally, maybe studio companion or whatever. So we'll see the three D. So it seems to be fine. I'm back to. Okay, so now we need to add the concrete slab. We have the columns beams. Now we need to add the concrete slab, and we do that by going to floor floor structural and we'll uh, do a 200 so we we'll duplicate this to slab 200 millimeters and we change the properties edit the properties so first we need to change this to concrete and say it is this core type of concrete and of course thickness is 200 okay okay so now we need to I'll I'll use this pick support these are the beams so I'll pick this beam and this beam and then this beam and this beam and connect them like that here here and here and here now we need to make sure that this concrete slab is sitting on top of the steel so I need to offset this by 200 and now accept so if you go back to any elevation to see it so we are good here you can see it's sitting on the top of the so back to level two so now we need to we need to uh, add the shaft on the shaft so we go to shaft opening or you can choose so I'll just choose this so I'll and before I go it is from level 2 and go to level 4 so if I choose just this one and accept and if I look at 3D I uh, will stretch, stretch this a bit higher. So, back to level two. I will do my shaft. I will remove this part because this is just a symbol for concrete slab. So, we'll, we'll do the concrete shaft. So, we we'll do that by going to wall and uh, structural wall. And we'll see 200 generic. That should be fine. Even you can do. Yeah, I think we have 200, 200 millimeters. Okay, 200 millimeters. Okay. So, but we have to make sure you change the, the properties. Um, I'll call it shaft 200 millimeters. I'll change it to concrete because you could use also block. So, we change this to concrete. Uh, concrete 30 is okay 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 so now I would like to do the concrete shaft so we go to we can use pick and decide the exterior the core face for interior so when I pick this line and I pick this shaft line and then this shaft line and this shaft line so I get my so if I look at the 
and if I do the shade I should be able to see it clearly so I have this is what I wanted to do okay so fair enough okay so so far so good so now we said we do one one thing at a time so we need to save this as project 2 whatever I want to save it now I want to load and do the supports for this project so uh, go to analyze and do the boundary and the point is load for fix for this fix we have done this before I'm just gonna go quick on this because I just want to show you how to duplicate or copy paste the floors because you need to do that the only thing you will make changes to is the column sizes because the beams main and and secondary beams they are typical if your floors are same if you have typical floors then they'll be the same so you don't need to, to repeat them all over again especially if you have a complex project so just copy and for the shaft we'll use line boundary fix again now this side and this side and this side and this side so good with the supports now we do the loads um, for loads we have to go for so first of all to load cases uh, we don't need these ones uh, just keep the dead and live load as we always did and then for load combination we do ultimate first I uh, can call it uh, ultimate one and it, the type is is ultimate and add add one dead one live the dead is multiplied by 1.25 according to Canadian standard and the live is 1.5 we add another case which is is called working and uh, this serviceability is okay so we add add here uh, we just change this to live and we don't need to have any um, factor so it'll be one one uh, that's so we go and do uh, load the area load the hosted area load will be the one so for dead load we'll say say it is four minus four and apply it and then for live load we'll have uh, say minus three and apply so have both this is for the entire area now we need to add the wall exterior wall loads and that will be again loads and we have a hosted line load and the hosted line load in the z direction will be something around eight say that is for 200 millimeter or 8 inch wall and uh, we need to the, do that for this wall and for this beam and for this beam and for this beam so now we are good to check the first floor for save and uh, let's send this to robot and see if this will work accept the default and see okay so it seems to be okay we don't need to see the report so now let's run the analysis and hopefully everything is fine seems to be we don't need to see this so just now if you go to the design to see if go to seal design and aluminum and if I do the calculation here so it seems to be I'm fine here so this is the first part that we did is works so now the task is that I want to to do the other I'm gonna just close this go back to my
to my project again. So if I go to 